हेलो फ्रेंड्स नमस्कार दोस्तों वेरी हैप्पी वीकेंड वॉम वेलकम टू हमारे और एक डिस्कशन ओवर द वीकेंड मैक्रो एंड मार्केट्स सो मैक्रो एंड मार्केट्स में हम लोग स्टार्ट जहां से करते हैं आज वहीं से करेंगे दैट इज ब्रॉडली द इकोनॉमिक कैलेंडर लेट मी गो देर इफ यू हैव टू टाइप ट्रेडिंग इकोनॉमिक्स डॉट कॉम ट्रेडिंग इकोनॉमिक्स डॉट कॉम के अंडर विल गो टू कैलेंडर एंड कैलेंडर में हम लोग टू स्टार इवेंट जो है इस हफ्ते के लिए उस पर फोकस करेंगे लास्ट वीक का जो इवेंट था बिफोर वी मूव टू दिस वीक इवेंट विल लुक एट द प्रीवियस वीक थ्री स्टार इवेंट ओनली प्रीवियस वीक के थ्री स्टार उसमें देखिए इंडस्ट्रियल प्रोडक्शन एक्चुअल चाइना का अच्छा नहीं आया है रिटेल सेल्स कंपेयर टू प्रीवियसली I want the previous few years back. I we used to be ten percent, eight percent, nine percent retail sales growth is not happening in China as per actual data. Reserve Bank of Australia interest rate decision. ये बहुत ही important था for those who are trading Australian dollars. Zoo economic sentiment index थोड़ा improve हुआ compared to previous, but जैसा improvement expected था. इकोनॉमिक सेंटिमेंट में वैसा इंप्रूव जर्मनी में हुआ नहीं यूएस का रिटेल सेल्स शोड मार्जिनल ग्रोथ प्रीवियस वाज नेगेटिव वी सॉ मार्जिनल ग्रोथ इन्फ्लेशन रेट इन द यूके फेल पार्ट द प्रीवियस वाज 2.3 नाउ इट हैज रीच 2 परसेंट वेरी लाइकली बैंक ऑफ इंग्लैंड दो इट डिड नॉट रिड्यूज द इंटरेस्ट रेट it will soon cut soon start cutting the interest rate possibly during the august meeting and finally we had japan where the inflation is finally going up after long long term of very low inflation or deflation uh, <coughs> japanese economy is facing significant high level of inflation Uh, like last after November October 2023 और ये जो जोन हम लोग देख रहे हैं इन्फ्लेशन का इट यूजली नॉट अ वेरी पीरियड जिस टाइम पे इतना देर तक इन्फ्लेशन सस्टेन किया इन द लास्ट ऑलमोस्ट ट्वेंटी ईयर्स एंड वी जपान डिड नॉट सी हाई इन्फ्लेशन आज जस्ट आफ्टर से नाइनटीन सेवेंटीज आफ्टर so this is also important for how things happens in japan so japan inflation rate ticked up and retail sales did a growth numbers on month on month reading in uk so let's go to now current week this is mainly the three star data we'll choose the two star one for the current week current week uh, we i do not see significant uh, anything major on monday to talk on uh, some of the fed speakers are there that is going to obviously influence the rate market interest rate market and that will have its impact but main shattering data this data is important for those who will be trading canadian dollar or the loonie inflation rate direct affects ye jo central bank expectation hota hai na interest rate ka उसको डायरेक्टली एफेक्ट करते हैं सो दिस दैट्स इंपॉर्टेंट टू दिस इज मंडे जून ट्वेंटी फोर दिस इज ट्यूजडे नाउ वी हैव मूव टू ट्यूजडे फेड का फेड का सम ऑफ द फेड स्पीकर दे विल कंटिन्यू टू इंफ्लुएंस द मार्केट रेड मार्केट दिस इज द यूजल डेटा ऑन क्रूड ऑयल ऑन वेडनेसडे This data, हम लोग सोचते हैं यू कैन इट कैन ट्रिगर सम पॉजिटिव इम्पैक्ट बट नथिंग सिग्निफिकेंट दिस इज दूएस ड्यूरेबल गुड्स ऑर्डर जी डी पी प्राइस इंडेक्स जी डी पी ग्रोथ रेट फाइनल ग्रोथ रेट दिस इज विल बी वन ऑफ द इम्पोर्टेंट डेटा रिलेटिवली इम्पोर्टेंट दिस इंफ्लेशन नंबर थ्रू आउट द यूरोप विल बी इम्पोर्टेंट फॉर यूरो यूएस डी एंड फाइनली we have pce price index this is june 28 where the focus of the market will be the focus of the market will be on this particular data <coughs> sorry 
पर्सनल इनकम एंड स्पेंडिंग सो यहां पे इन्फ्लेशन का नेक्स्ट लेवल ऑफ रीडिंग मार्केट विल ट्राई टू गॉज द इन्फ्लेशन मोड फ्रॉम दिस पर्टिकुलर डेटा इफ इट्स कमिंग लोअर दैट बी वेरी पॉजिटिव फॉर द रिस्क मार्केट मतलब इक्विटी मार्केट सो दीज आर इंपॉर्टेंट डेटा एंड ओवर द वीक एंड नेक्स्ट विल हैव द चाइनीज मैन्युफैक्चरिंग डेटा हियर इज द लास्ट चाइनीज PMI data. This is after almost the whole week. So we'll talk about it next week. Not not now. Currently this week not significant data. Some minor moving data would be on Thursday only. Friday market would want to gauge assess on inflation. Inflation kya niche ke taraf steadily move kar raha hai ki nahi? That will be definitely market ka ek focus. Ab chaliye thoda performance dik. परफॉर्मेंस में लेट्स गो टू फर्स्ट मार्केट्स करेंसी में देखते हैं करेंसी में हम लोग एक हफ्ते का परफॉर्मेंस देखते हैं और उसमें टॉप परफॉर्मर है साउथ अफ्रीकन रैंड बिकॉज वहां पे इलेक्शन में फाइनली दे गॉड अ पॉलिटिकल स्टेबिलिटी सिचुएशन रूबल आप ऑस्ट्रेलियन डॉलर आप एज दे केप्ट इंटरेस्ट रेट हायर हंगरियन फोरिन टाप Canadian dollar up, US dollar index is positive. Where on the downside we have Japanese yen, Brazilian real, Turkish lira, Korean won, uh, Indonesian rupiah, Swiss franc, New Zealand dollar, GBP, Great Britain pound. We have Argentinian peso, etc. So dollar is still this year is going up, and if we look at say monthly year-to-date data. the currency that is on the top performer is the us dollar and the worst performer has been japanese yen i am actually getting warmed up to a particular currency that is the swiss franc swiss franc i think is going to outperform the inr so thoda paisa uh, let me show you with the chart chf inr and let me change the setup to currencies forex and currency so this is the long term chart i see the chf uh, swiss franc is making a comeback so indian rupee i think is going to depreciate as we progress further as long as these uh, supports are holding up well there is a strong probability that it is going to depreciate so chf swiss franc can positive compared against ina तो फोरेक्स के बाद लेट्स लुक एट द कॉमोडिटीज फोरेक्स मार्केट में डॉलर स्टेडीनेस एंड कंटिन्यूस राइज हैज नॉट बीन बोर्ड वेल मंथली अलग पिक्चर है विल लुक एट वीकली जहां पे कोकोआ अच्छा परफॉर्मेंस नहीं किया इट इज डाउन 6.8 टॉप परफॉर्मर हैज बीन गैसोलीन गैसोलीन टॉप परफॉर्मेंस में है एंड क्रूड ऑयल भी so this energy price now going up this is a nice combination now palladium platinum catching up to rise of gold silver uh heating oil this energy segment as a group going up i'm finding this very much interesting and also finding opportunities like jo log regular video dekhte you know we are long on crude oil so crude oil mein opportunity tha on go to go on the buy side और सिमिलरली गैसोलीन गैसोलीन का जो पिक्चर है ये ऊपर जा रहा है एंड इट विच कंटिन्यूज टू मूव अप फाइनली दिस विल एड टू द इन्फ्लेशन बट करेंट इन्फ्लेशन रीडिंग इफ इज गोइंग डाउन द फेड विल स्टिल काट डिस्पाइट गैसोलीन एंड क्रूड ऑयल गोज अप यूजुअली हिस्टोरिकल पिक्चर के बेसिस पे बोल रहा हूँ um uh, so this crude oil going up this is the very interesting part jiske upar hame zarur nazar rakhna chahiye let's look at the stocks stocks matlab how different markets global markets are doing and it is uh, sox is the uh, semiconductor index which is going up and the taiwan they are the best performer remains in the month 
Then let's look at the weekly performance, Taiwan Stock Exchange. Then we have Brazil. Uh, then we have Korea, Nikkei. A lot of Asian stock exchange has started to do well. Dow Jones backed on the positive side. S&P, yes, a comparison made. Dow has done well. A look at S&P, NASDAQ, they have not done well. Now money rotating back in the U.S. towards Dow. So, once again, we have semiconductor, which AI, artificial intelligence ka linkage, hai. they are continuing, continuing to go for a massive rise and rally. Let's go to the Finviz and uske zariye ek bar hum log charts ko dekhenge. Ye dekhi, yaan pe bhi upar dikhi raha hai. Gasoline is the one of the top performer. And let's go to now maps. Maps may global picture din jayega. Last World Cup performance. And let's make it one week. Ek hafte mein World Cup performance has been mixed in terms of equity. Is ka matlab equity, some pockets will be bullish as in general and not everything will be, not every or major pockets will be bullish. Agar aap yaha pe bhi dekhenge, this is Nifty 500 ka one week ka performance of the stocks. Aisa nahi bool pa rahe, it's an outright bullish. Agar dekha jai, lot of stocks are actually bearish as well. If you look at how many stocks, 1% to 1%, lot of stocks are in the red picture, which can be seen. Some of the small stocks do have gone up. Let's make it 2% with 2%. Similarly, lot of names, big names as well, TC has gone down 2%. And so it's a mixed picture. If I bring on the 3% grade, still a mixed picture, red or green. Ka. So it's not a fully outright bullish mood. Outright mood means the majority goes up bullish. So that's not the mood right now here. The mood is more selective. Or ye jo selective, ye dekhe global picture mein bhi dikh hai. Similar kind of, it is selective region which are bullish. So, you just stock ka analysis hota hai, is ka different tarike se kiya ja sakte. You can approach, we can approach it from global top down approach, ya koi isko bottom up approach bhi kar sakte, going through individual stocks at the BC. And India has done well. Our stocks, our performance, our, compared to say China even, we are doing pretty well. Now go back to let's go back to futures or usme thoda charts ko dekhte. Charts mein pehle indices ka dekhte. Clearly yahan pe I hope aap log dekh pa rahe very likely dekh paana chahiye. This is ye raha Dow Dow Jones Daily chart may it has let's let's make it the weekly chart after the doji. This is a comeback in Dow. SP steadily making higher, but last day has not been well. A doji making in SP 500, maybe it's stretched, maybe it's time to go to look to the Dow. Dow gave a nice weekly break. NASDAQ tried to break, it is a good move. After the break, it's a doji candle. If you look at the daily chart, NASDAQ, you can see a uh, sell of S&P and NASDAQ were firing together. Weekly of Russell, a bada doji candle ke baad ek stop over. Some of the stocks might be turning around in Russell. Russell is the small mid cap of US. Nikkei, completely flat. Nothing is happening in Nikkei. Euro stocks after a big drop, a big comeback in risk, not a strong bullish mode, but comeback from a strong support level. Now, this is interesting. We'll take DAX also, Europe, a comeback. This is a bit interesting. 
we'll take note of this i'm not able to fully control this one i think what you are will be able to visualize is there is a green candle optic there is an uptake in VIX, which is volatility is going up. So this is a warning for in general equities. We get, we usually get a good mood when things are going volatility. VIX is going bearish, but this is a time VIX going up. And that's natural because S&P is also taking a turn. Uh, so we'll be cautious. We'll be cautious on, we'll try to stay on the stocks which remain strong and holding up the momentum. And high beta stocks, may, if there is a correction in the market, bigger correction risk, uh, risk hai. So high beta stocks may approach you on a more towards buy support rather than buy breakout trades. So indices ke baad, let's look at the energy segment of the market, crude oil. You can see the comeback in crude oil, in the weekly crude oil, gasoline, Heating oil also, whereas natural gas is the only counter taken an opposite turn compared to the broader uh, market. So crude oil comeback is very, very significant. Though after, if you look at the daily chart, it has taken a pause. Next week will be crucial. If it takes a turn downside, we don't, we will not want, agar ye niche downside ke taraf break ho raha hai, hum log nahi chayenge crude starts falling below 77. Suppose you'll be able to visualize this. If line chart up line, it, you can see that 78.4 level is crude oil. Ko Otherwise, the bullish mood significantly turn around. Ho so, that, that definitely we don't want to crude oil. If you see video dekhte hai regularly, you know my view on crude oil. We are looking at the bonds, bonds after good rise, matlab, drop in interest rates, bonds have taken a pause in the weekly chart last week, very small candle. Next week, if it's taking a turn, interest rate goes up, equities are going to have more bearish pressure, but if it breaks higher, that will be positive news for equities. So broadly, bonds have taken a pause, formed a uh, in Harami candle or pregnant lady candle. Cocoa, it is taking a turn lower, cotton lower, orange juice is consolidating. Coffee, after a big rise, consolidating. Maybe if, if we get a big drop, this will be a very down, big down move for copper. A lot of agricultures are going down. Lumber, Sugar is not able to sustain. So agriculture may we don't have the bullishness. Metal B is struggling after a strong move earlier in the year. Metals are struggling. Metal may platinum and palladium are showing some early signs of a comeback, but metals are broadly in a consolidation now. Let's look at the meats. Meats are once again, consolidated, whereas pork or lean hogs going lower. Let's look at the grains. Grains are lower price. So that is actually a good news, that positive news that agriculture prices are lower. That means we are going to have a lower food inflation. That is generally a very good thing. So here a broad picture of overall market. Next week ka situation hum log uh, overall samjhe. So I hope this video, this discussion was helpful for you. Aaj zada aur dive nahi karenge towards macro. Uh, I have created a new video banaya my members ke liye a macro video. I hope aap log dekhe hain wo. Federal Reserve ka jo probability calculation current. Usko hum log notice ki hain. Aur kaise calculate kiya ja raha hai wo hum log dekhe hain. So that's all friends. Thank you so much for watching my video. All the best from my side. And as always, happy trading.